Okay, what's up, YouTube? It is Pacey AI one more time. I'm about to give you another video. Remember to leave a like, share, and subscribe. I want to talk to you guys about Pika. Pika recently released their 1.5 video model, and I'm going to be going through some of these videos, and I'm going to be showing you some of the new features that Pika has on their platform. So here is one of the videos that we find on Pika, and obviously this is a girl skating this looks pretty nice so the prom says a long board races down the hill on a winding mountain road the wind whistling past her hair so this is that and that is pretty cool and obviously we got another picture right here so this is a bullet time shot 360 camera circling around a floating furniture so very simple very short prompts but very effective and as we can see we see this generation right here this is pretty nice pretty consistent nothing much to say right there now obviously these are the cherry picked generation from pika so take these with a grain of salt people these are the generations that they cherry pick it doesn't necessarily mean that these are the generation you're gonna get when you prom dolly in a chameleon is doing push-ups so that's cool. And this one doesn't have a description. So this is just an image prompt and no description whatsoever. And essentially that is that. Now we do have some of the, these peak effects. So you have this cakeify effect and essentially turns anything into cake. So you could literally play that game of is that cake? You know what I mean? Obviously another great video right here. A bullet shot, hyper fast 360 warrior, and armor holds up a sword in the air while troops around him chair. Again, nice generation. Not much movement of the troops, though. I noticed not much going on with this one. Just a very simple generation, but simple and effective at the same time. So, not bad right there by Pika. This is another one of their effects. I'm not sure which one this is. But this essentially turns the whole thing into somewhat of cotton. Not sure if it's cotton candy or what it is, but obviously this is another one of the effects right there. And then here's another video generation right here. Again, good generation. Seems like something is wrong with his fingers right here, but he does show a heart sign and not too bad. Not a bad generation at all. And this is another peak effect. So this is what they call it, peak effects. And essentially this one is squishing. You can literally take anything and squish it. And that's what's happening right here. This vacuum cleaner is just getting squished to nothing, which is very cool. I mean, you could definitely have some fun with this, right? I mean, this these are just cool little things. Doesn't really mean much, but it does add some dynamics if you want to create a video, let's say. So that's pretty cool right there. So this is another image prompt. Again, they're using a lot of image prompts with these. So this is a still image and they have this character that I don't even know what this looks like to be quite honest with you, but you know, he's running and smiling. So that's a pretty cool scenery right there. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty consistent. The running looks great. The animations are great, pretty consistent. So that's pretty cool. Introducing Ninja Chat. So Ninja Chat is a platform that allows you to use multiple different AI models to do different tasks. It integrates multiple AI models into one. So you don't have to play, pay for each of these AI models separately. It does give you some credits. So if you start with the basic plan, you get about a thousand credits per month and that equals a thousand messages. You also get 30 image generations per month. So if we look at some of the features, so we have the AI playground and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more. We also have AI images, chat with PDF, writing library, and then we have the different AI models you can use. So you have the chat GPT, you have Claude, you have Llama, Perplexity, Gemini, and your favorite Grok. When you go to the writing library, we have some different tools that we can actually use to improve our writing. Another very cool feature is chatting with PDF. So you can actually chat with your PDF, upload a PDF right here, ask it questions, 
and get answers. This is great for if you are reading a long PDF and you need answers right away. Also, if you want to generate image, there are two image generation models. So you have Stable Diffusion 3 and you have the newest Flux AI Pro model, which is the number one image generation model out there right now. It is great for generating people, objects, environments. And then finally, you have the AI Playground, which is a feature that allows you to compare prompts from the different models that are on the platform. So as you guys can see, by default, we have GPT-40, Claude, Llama 3, and Mistral. So if I decide to ask the question, let's say I say, give me a breakdown. So essentially it will write out the response for each of these models. And then I can compare the response and determine which one I think is great. So definitely check this out. Ninja chat link is in the description to this one. And then finally, we have this little girl showing a peace sign, looking at a finger here, fingers are a little bit deformed. And obviously these two fingers seem a bit longer than what they're supposed to be. It seems longer than her palms. So obviously that is inconsistent with the whole generation, but not too bad still does for the most part what it was intended to do. And then we have the squishing effect right here. So we're squishing this duck, squishing it to nothing. Again, really, really nice, consistent, cool effect, something that you can have fun with. And you can literally do this with anything. You can put any image right there and you can just have it squished. Right? You can put an image of yourself and just have yourself squished to, to pieces essentially. So that is what this effect really does. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about Pika. Here's an effect that I generated. We have this frog melting into nothing. So this is their melting effect. This frog is literally melting. This is very terrifying <laughs> if, if you ask me. So definitely something that I, I would not want to see happen to myself in real life for sure. But let me know what you guys think about this. What do you guys think about Pika? What do you guys think about this platform? 1.5 model out now. You can use it. You can pay for this. I'm currently not paying for the subscription because there's so many other great video subscription compared to Kling and other video models. I don't think this Nessie does it for me. I don't think it is Nessie doing anything significant to where I would decide to pay for this. But if you guys want to pay for it, you can go ahead and do that. There are so many different video models out there right now that it's really going to cost you a lot if you start wanting to pay for all of these. Obviously, Minimax, which I'm going to be talking about, literally started their subscription recently. So definitely, guys, going to be doing a video about that. But let me know what you guys think about this. And have a great day. Peace, AI, signing out. Peace.